Hiya folks, it's Antara and I've got a new black and white doubles battle. My opponent is my good friend Pollard 2 pi We've had battles in the past, um, including one doubles battle, but this is a new team for him and he's hoping it'll fare better than his last team. Um, and I'm like, okay, let's let's do it. So he leads off with his um, buffalant and his um, jump bluff. I kind of predicted the sap sipper strategy and that's why I sent out Mikhail. I figured this guy needs to go down on the first turn. Um, you know, a part of me was wondering whether I should have gone for Sleep Powder. Turns out, hell no. Sleep Powder counts as a grass type move and it would have activated Sap Zipper. So actually, um, Bofalon is really an amazing Pokemon to have if you're predicting your opponent to use, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Sleep Powder. Anyway, um, there's a little, little bit of doubling down here. My Drain Punch did not quite do enough to Oko. He survived with like 2 HP, but his head smash is going to take out both of our Pokemon uh, thanks to his recoil. And I'm going to go ahead and go for the Hidden Power Ice against his Jump Buff, really hoping that it's going to be enough to KO. Um, and it looks like it is, and he gets down to 1 HP um, thanks to his Focus Sash. Now the crit may or may not have mattered. I could do the Kelp, but you know, maybe, maybe not. I'm lazy. Um, gonna go ahead and send out Brain, my Musharna at this point, because I figure it is time to set up the tip trick room, baby. He goes ahead and sends out his, um, uh, Samurott. He's gonna go ahead and sleep powder me, and I'm like, oh no! Oh no! How am I gonna set up trick room when I'm asleep? And my other, um, trick room setter upper is t KO'd. Anyway, um, he's gonna go ahead and air slash my Kazulu. Um, but thanks to the fact that this is a specially defensive Kazulu, uh, I survive, and I am gonna manage to hit back with a super effective power whip, which, as I recall, is enough to take out his Samurott. Uh, drum roll please. Yes, it is. Kazulu, you are a monster. So anyway, yeah, his um, Samurott is taken out, and Brain is sadly asleep. Uh, so no trick room for me right now. Um, he goes ahead at this point and sends out his Jedediah, his, um, excuse me, his uh, Drift Blim. And I'm going to go ahead and go for the double switch here. going to go ahead and send out my um, Rotom Frost for him, nicknamed Tachikoma. As, and uh, on the other side, I'm going to send out um, my Angler my uh, lantern, I almost said Chin Chow. Uh, anyway, Jumpluff goes ahead and uses Rage Powder. I believe what that means is that my Pokemon have to target him, so it's basically, basically like follow me, uh, except for maybe I can only use attacking moves. I don't remember. I'll look it up and I'll put it in the annotations. Sorry. Um, anyway, uh, Jumpluff is going to go ahead and bullet seed me, uh, bullet seed my lantern, and, you know, I'm like, I think I can take that. I mean, yeah, it's specially defensive, but it should be able to take it anyway. But he gets a crit on his second bullet seed, and furthermore, it gets three bullet seeds, and that's enough to take me out. I'm like, oh man, I lost lantern before he was able to do anything. Um, anyway, uh, next turn, his Jedediah is going to go ahead and Shadow Ball me. Um, does a decent amount of damage, uh, but he gets a spec death drop, which is sad pandas. Uh, gonna go for the discharge here, since it's 100% accurate, his jump off's down to 1 HP, and uh, it's gonna be super effective anyway, and I just didn't want to risk it with the blizzard, because uh, there's, I believe there's a 51% chance of blizzard missing at least one of his pokes. So yeah, definitely didn't want to do that. Um, but now that I've got the Spadef drop, it's not good. Okay, so yeah, he's got the Citrus Berry, gets a bit of recovery, and also probably the speed boost from Unburden. I go ahead and send out Hatterack here, uh, and I think I call back Tachikoma, at least I should, um, considering, you know, it's got the Spadef drop and everything. Uh, yeah, and indeed I do, and I go into my Kazulu, my uh, Tangrowth, uh, and uh, his Jedediah uses Destiny Bond. I'm like, oh geez, that's not a good thing because I am, uh, because Hatterack, I told it to use uh, Rock Slide, so that could potentially be catastrophic for me. Um, anyway, his Bloody Dino uses Earthquake, doesn't do anything to Kazulu. I'm like, why is it doing that much to Hatterack? Um, my Steelix, which, you know, Steelix has amazing defenses, it's because he got the freaking crit, which is so awful, but oh well, it is what it is. Go for the rock slide here, and I'm like, oh, I hope it doesn't take him out. And indeed, his Jedediah does survive, although at this point, maybe it would have been better just to, you know, double down, 
take out his Jedediah and sacrifice my Steelix. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and send out Tachikoma here, um, because I'm predicting him to go for another Earthquake. Um, instead, so he goes for the Shadow Ball here. Um, luckily, no Spaduff drop here. Um, and I believe this is going to be enough to take out Steelix. Um, yeah, I was actually really hoping that it would survive. Wait, oh, right, he has Mold Breaker! Oh, that was the stupidest move ever! Um, yeah, Mold Breaker goes ahead and hits through my Levitate and takes out both of my Pokémon. And so I, I'm just kicking myself here because I have had I left in Kudzulu. Well, the Shadow Ball probably would have taken him out. Um, and at least I get some Regenerator recovery. And so anyway, my options are not looking good here at all. He goes ahead and calls back his Bloody Dino, which is really, really fortunate. Um, and anyway, sends out his, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Alamomola. Um, goes ahead and goes for the Shadow Ball here, but, you know, Brain is going to stay asleep for as long as it's going to stay asleep, and as long as it's asleep, I'm kind of screwed. Going to go ahead and go for the Hidden Power Ice here uh, against oh, Alamomola. And unfortunately, uh, it's not going to do anything. Uh, he predicted that sort. Uh, he predicted my move quite well. Um, and you know, luckily, I'm, I mean, I'm going to be able to hit this thing with uh, power up at some point, but only if I'm not taken out first. Anyway, more shadow balls. Luckily, Brain can, is taking those hits uh, and is not quite dying yet. Um, now I get the spit up drop. He's getting really lucky with those spit up drops. Let me just say that. Um, he goes for the Heal Pulse uh, on a Jedediah, and that's going to recover a, a decent amount of health. What, it gets it to over half because Alamola has such amazing HP, um, and his Help Me Out avoids the freaking Power Web, and I'm like, oh, come on. But you know what, it doesn't matter over much because I'm going to go ahead and get off the Trick Room, um, and so now I'm going to be able to, um, both of my Pokemon are slower and they're going to be able to attack first next turn. Brain goes ahead and uses Psychic against his Jedediah, and I'm hoping that it's enough to take out, but I don't really think it's going to be. Uh, Kazulu goes ahead and uses Power Whip, um, which this, I'm hoping, since Alamomola has such awful defenses, that I am going to be able to take it out in one hit. But we're just going to have to see, and I'm, you know, uh, it's so stressful and, uh, you know, t um, suspenseful, but I do manage to take him out, and that's awesome. Bye-bye, Alamomola. Get out of here. Um, his Jedediah is going to go for the obvious power, uh, Shadow Ball, it's going to take out my brain, um, and Kazulu is now my last Pokemon on the field. Uh, so it's Tangrowth versus the world, and I just really hope that uh, I can win. Uh, so with Bloody Dino, um, it actually might not be the greater threat, uh, but I, I guess I go for the Hidden Power. Who did I target? Um, oh, I targeted his... Oh, right, because I wanted the 100% uh, uh, accurate, uh, but that was a bad move. I have no idea why I actually did that. Maybe it was a misclick. I don't know. Maybe I was expecting it to do more. Anyway, Fire Punch gets me down to 102 HP. His Jedediah goes ahead and use de uses Destiny Bond, but I decide, I just, now that I know the thing has uh, Fire Punch, I want to take it out right away. I'm gonna go for the Power Whip. God, uh, thank you, God, the Power Whip actually hits. I take out his Bloody Dino. And now he's down to his last Pokemon as well. So I consider what to do here. Um, yeah, he goes ahead and says it to me. I'm pretty sure I survived. Now I consider what to do here. If he got went for the Destiny Bond, um, this would have been a tie game. Um, so I went for the Sleep Powder. Unfortunately, um, I, the Sleep Powder misses, and he wins. Had I gone for the, uh, you know, had I gone for the uh, Ice move, uh, he would've, I would've won, but oh well, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Great game, Pollard, great game, Pollard to Pie, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, so long.